Hi and welcome to today's session on interpreting pie charts. So one thing that we need to bear in mind is that, uh, that when we look in pie charts, we're actually looking at proportions or percentages and then looking to actually find information from using these. So as an example, here I've got a pie chart showing the degrees and different categories. So how students travel to, to college, those who walked, bus, bike and take, uh, take their car. So to interpret this, I can automatically say that more people who were surveyed take the bus to college than anything else, and the least many people ride a bike. But if I wanted to delve a bit deeper into this, I'll need some kind of numerical value. So either the total or maybe one of the category uh, frequencies to be able to show what each one of these represents against each other numerically. So I'm going to be doing that exactly same example. 20 people were asked, um, in which case we've got 360 degrees here, which represents all the degrees added together. Because we are actually going to be using these two values. To find out one of the frequencies, we are going to be, our frequency is going to be equaling our degrees for our category, divide that by 360, and then multiplying it by our summer frequency, so 20. So 36 divided by 360 times 20 equals 2. So two people at the 20 um, said that they walked to college. Carrying this on through all the rest. So I end up with 2, 10, 1 and 7. Adding these together, they give me 20. So I've got a good idea that my data, my calculations are correct because these added together should equal 20. But what if I've been asked the exact same problem I've only been given the quantity for one of the categories, the frequency for one of the categories. So in this case, I've just been told that two people walked. So in this case, I'm going to be using this two to calculate how many people in total were asked. And then I'm going to repeat the process that I did previously. So my sum of frequencies is going to equal my frequency divided by the degrees of data times by 360. So two divide by 36 times by 360, that gives me 20. So 20 people in total were asked, in which case I would use the exact same process as what we just did on the table. We could be working in percentages rather than degrees, but this process is the exact same process, except we are using 100% rather than 360 degrees. So we're going to be running through the exact same process. So for our first one is 10, divide that by 100 times by 20 gives me 2. So two people out of these were asked, um, said that they walked to college. These uh, results will be the exact same because I've used the exact same um, data, just using percentages rather than degrees. And of course, exactly the same as if we've uh, been given the, the frequency of just one of the categories. I'm going to take 2, divide that by our percentage for that category, times it by 100, 100%, and that will give me 20. So 20 people in total were asked. So I can use that to then use the table that we saw previously to actually calculate what the other categories, the frequencies for the other categories are. If you like what you see, please subscribe. Thank you very much for watching.